Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a special episode. Last month was the 25th anniversary of the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. And to commemorate that, David and I did a series of draft pools using the simulator. And we constructed our decks using the five re-released packs from the 25th anniversary celebration. We were not going to be informing each other of our decks, nor will we be explaining any strategy. But is there anything you'd like to say to the audience, David, before I continue? Yeah, for those watching my screen, please ignore this make appy safe connecting. It's a thing, it's a bug on my laptop, I can't get rid of it somehow. At the bottom right, just ignore that. But also, <laughs> also here is my deck, and as you can probably see, it is really bad. We, we make deals with we can, people, that's how the draft works. Listen, my deck is not very good either, but let's continue. Alright. Got it. Okay. My god, come on. Oh my god! This is not fair. <laughs> Finally! Alright. Oh, what? Miguel, speak up. Play ground collapse, selecting those two zones, preventing you from using them oh, while dude. this card remains face up on the field. Oh my god, and I'm pretty sure before we get any card destruction. Uh, no, MST exists. Mm. And I'll set a monster in defense mode. I end my turn. I go. What will David do? I will... Set a monster. And end my turn. I can feel it. My opponent is strong. It's as if a wild animal is staring me down. Where is it from? I'll set a card face down. And then my turn. You, you, you did, you did something. I didn't know you did. Of course I did. I represented. That's what Yugi said to Raphael in his mind. He's like, I feel it. This man, he's strong. I feel it. Come on, sorry. Then I have to start a card. And then my turn. It's my turn. I'll set a monster in defense mode. My God. Go. Oh. I summon Frenzy Panda! I shall make the first attack! Jata! I activate nothing. I'm a star boy! <laughs> no! It's my turn then. And I summon. Oh, does my opponent have a card? No, I don't. I guess not. I summon. Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness. And I enter my battle phase. I attack your frenzied panda. I Ooh. Would, would you Is that mirror force? Of the mystical elf. Oh. <laughs> I can stand up for a monster on the field, so I get 1500. My opponent is staring me down. We get it. Oh. <laughs> hey, we have to provide commentary. It's just the two of us. I set a monster, then end my turn. My turn, then. I sacrifice my Kiseitai to summon Mr. Volcano. Battle. Mr. Volcano will attack your set. Crimson Ninja! Crimson Ninja, holy shit. And there goes my Type 0 Magic Crusher. I'll have the Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness attack his set. Oh, Dale shit. Goodbye to Mr. Volcano. <laughs> Mr. Volcano! I end my turn. Get off. Now my opponent, with five cards in hand and a monster face down, has I limitless see. options. I get another monster. Then end my turn. Man, David, I'm trying to hype you up. I know. <laughs> I, I, I have to find a point like, to hype me up, and I just do something completely uncool. That's not the hype. I summoned a super powerful monster, Blue Winged Crown. Enter my battle phase. Blue Winged Crown will attack your face down. Prevent rat. rat. I have Sea Serpent Warrior of Darkness attack your other face down. Island Fuck. Turtle. I end my turn. <laughs> I draw. Two of the strongest defensive cards. What do I do? If he has any two tribute monster, 
puts me behind by so far. I summon high tide DLG. Oh shit. I, I attack blue wing crown. Oh no. I end my turn. And it's my turn to go on the offensive. I sacrifice my sea serpent warrior of darkness to summon, once again, my Mr. Volcano. And then I place... I can't use this? Why can't I use this? Oh my goodness, it has to be with less than 1500 attack. Bastard. <laughs> I enter my battle phase, and I attack your island turtle. It's your move. I draw. I switch high tech geology into defense mode. Then I'll set a then I'll set a card to another monster face down. Yeah. I draw. I I once again enter the battle phase and attack your prevent rat. Two of the strongest defensive position monsters have been vanquished. Meanwhile, you have a strong attack position monster that I don't know how to get rid of. It's okay. I said and end my turn. It's my turn to go on the offensive. I'll put a monster in... Actually, I won't do that. Instead, I'll summon Getsufuma. Battle. Getsufuma will attack your high tide Gyojin. Mr. Volcano will attack your face down. Dark Zebra. Why does it have a horn? Oh no. I summon Blazing and Pachi. Oh shit. My Gets Fuma! Set a card face down. And put a monster in defense mode. Battle. Mr. Volcano will attack your face down monster. I'll change time seal. You won't draw next turn. Dying, My draw phase. Giant germ into, make you fight damage, and then I'll summon another giant germ. Oh shit. Very well then. I end my turn. Draw. a monster and switch Empathy and Giant Germ to defense mode. My draw phase is skipped thanks to your time seal, but I will have all the information in the world. I activate my trap, the Eye of Truth. Ah, what so that's what you're hiding from me. Wait, what? I can see your hand now. You have Mystic Plasma Zone, Crawling Dragon, and that, Spear Crescent. Spear Crescent back! I thought we banned him. Fuck. <laughs> we banned him in the, in, the in the original cap, but not this one. You only have one, right? <laughs> yes, I, yes, I will say that I only have one. Behold, oh. honey, honey! Honey, honey, God! Every time you get the volcano to the hand! Main phase two. I sacrificed my face down monster to bring back a Mr. Volcano in my turn. Dang, I thought you the funny hat. A son of a bitch. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh, look at this. Smashing ground. I switch Empathy and Giant Jarm to attack mode. Attack! This is bad. I summon Destroyer Golem. And I'll have him attack your giant virus. Sounds and my turn. What did you, what did you do? He drew fucking Pot of Greed. That's not fair. <laughs> yep. Okay, Robin, Goblin, and Horn of the Unicorn. It seems my opponent is more prepared than I gave him credit for. Horn of the Unicorn! I'm blading in party! 2,550 attack position points. Attack! I'll set a card face down and summon Manju of 10,000 hands. Using his effect, I'll add 
turtle oath to my hand. Oh my god, you, ha you, have, you got a ritual? I have to end my turn. Hour of Kaishin. I will now use. I will now activate Goblin Goblin. Oh no! Breathing and party to attack Manju. Goblin Goblin to destroy the card. Ishkimaho. Hmm. I put a monster in defense mode. You're up. Well, I will summon Dark King of the Abyss. And then I'll activate Mystic Plasma Zone. Attack! My Amphibious Bugroth MK3. This is actually pretty fun. Yeah. This is old Yu Gi Oh! with modern rules, so the game is awesome. This time, I'll let my opponent begin. I'll set a monster, then end my turn. I draw. I'll begin with the mighty Lord Poison. And I'll equip him with... Malevolent Nuzzler, the Demon's Kiss. Battle. Oh, frick. Lord Poison, attack his face down. I'll set one card face down. It's your move. Draw. I set another monster, then end my turn. It's my turn then. I attack you again. How many of these wall monsters did you get? I'll set and then. Then it's my turn. I'll set a monster. Battle. Be a Kraken! Kraken. Oh, but it, 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 it's not broken as much because. You only have one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna stall for ten turns. I remember we activated Cyberjar like four times in that game. Oh yeah, I remember that. I was planning that. My opponent ends his turn. It's my turn to go on the offensive. I sacrificed my island turtle to summon Mr. Volcano. Oh god, not him again. Lord Poison attacks. Mr. Volcano attacks. I end my turn. Oh, better man. Now it's my turn. It's puzzling. Even though I should have no fear of that card, I do. I activate Tribute to the Doom. Sacrificing Destroyer Golem from my hand to destroy your face down monster. I'll change, give it the mythical elf. Ah. Uh. Mm. Yeah, hopefully, buy me some time. It will buy you one turn. It's your move. Drop. Mm. I'll set an end. These passive plays won't take you very far. I summon Amphibious Bugroth, Mark III. And then, I remove Destroyer Golem in my graveyard from the game to special summon Gigantes. Oh, that's... Battle. Yeah, Mr. Volcano, attack. I think, I think game. It should be. Yeah, definitely not. I, I had Necromancer in my hand. Alright. I'll start strong. I'll put a card face down and place a monster in defense mode. I activate Pot of Greed. And I activate the Eye of Truth. Curse Seal of the Forbidden Spell. That is a card. Yes, it is. I summon Mad Sword Beast. Ah. Fuck, dang it. I can do it too, you know. I summon Karate Man. Now activate his effect to give him 1,000 attack points. Wait, what? Battle. Karate Man. Attack Mad Sword Beast. However, as punishment for using steroids in fight, I die of heart failure. 
Oh my god. Oh, he yeah. snapped. Blazing and Holy party. Shit. And then horn the unicorn. How do I stop it? It's so big. Yeah, but that's what he said. <laughs> Sorry. Her steal the forbidden spell. He's smart. He has prevented me from going after him with my magic cards. But can he truly stop me? I activate Rising Air Current. This gives all of my wind monsters 500 attack points. You're planning something. You know for a fact what you said. You can easily stop that. But, like the other plot. One that I have to or maybe I'm gambling on the 1% that you don't. Oh, really? Really? You, that's fine. Well, here was the same that works. I use Curse Field of a Bend Spell. You started my Dragon Strike to engage your activation. I set a monster in defense mode and end my turn. Question Does Cold Wave negate my Horn Unicorn? This card can only be activated at the start of main phase 1. Until your next turn, you and your opponent cannot play or set any spell or trap cards. By that logic, no. In that case, Cold Wave. Blazing and Pussy attack. Hmm. In phase 2. I'll set a monster. Well, I set a monster, you already know what it is. Hane Hane. I summon Destroyer Golem and I attack Hane Hane. Hane Hane returns Destroyer Golem. I end my turn. I summon Leopard Dragon. Attack. A minor dragon and capable of breathing fire. Then I summon Bolganian. Battle. I attack Lesser Dragon. In two, I'll set a card. You're up. Dark Zebra. I summon Dark Zebra. How does it feel, David, that I can read your mind? Like a pro oh, can you nothing? Dark Zebra attacks Volganeon! This is absolutely f I activate my trap. Attack and receive. This burns you for 700 whenever I take damage. Fine. That is so shit. <laughs> yeah, especially because I got iron through. <laughs> Breathing and pocket attack. It's my turn. Set a card face down. I put a monster in defense mode. End my turn. Fucking good time, seal. Start deeper to attack it face down. That's fine. Breathing and party. Direct attack. I activate Enchanted Javelin. Healing me by 2,550 life points. Oh. The problem is, I take that damage as well. I summon... Fan service in attack mode and end <laughs> my turn. Give me all you're not gonna happen. Time seal! <laughs> Damn. Wendy the Panda! Like Zebra attack. Bending and party. Attack for game. Congratulations. Yep. The one. That was, that was the one. Alright, now let's show each other our decks and react to them. Alright. See, this, this is Miguel's deck and. Holy wow, shit. Wow, I got. Actually, got, I got some. I got the good card. You, you got it? some. Busted ass staple card. That's what you got. We had a gravity bind. Yeah, I did have gravity bind. That would have stopped me. I... Oh yeah, you're gonna die to Boganian effect damage. You probably could have, honestly. Yeah. So he only had two giant germs. But yeah, but yeah, as you can see, I didn't have really have much in terms of spell and trap card structure, aside from Crimson Ninja. And true. But yeah, I had Curse Steel, but it only prevents activation, nothing destroy them on the field. You do have Time Seal and Robin Goblin and Cold Wave and Smashing Ground and Pot of Greed, though. Yeah. Okay, broken ass cards. Well, you... If I had to. Yeah, you. 
No fans, but didn't have much. I didn't have any banned cards. You had two. Anyways, that'll be all for this celebration of the 25th anniversary of the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG with the five re-released booster sets. David, any last words you want to say to the audience? Well, yeah, just about the break from the regular job, but we're going back to that. And before, and I swear to God, if I see one comment about how long it takes to uh, upload my, I will be pissed. It goes to you, it goes for you, Miguel. Uh, fun fact, I am 39 episodes in at the time of recording, and David has done two? Shut up. Have a nice day. But, sign off, though.